Hi, I'm Kartha Gewert, and this is Sniggle Fritz. He's very excited because today's video is for the girls. I've been looking at these amazing, satisfying ramen hacks, and I've wanted to try them for so long. Today's the day we try them. And they look good. They look great. The first one is a fried rice ramen. It's like instant. What could be a better combination than fried rice and instant ramen? Because they're both kind of instant foods in a way. And this is a beautiful combination of the two. You take the shin, the shin ramyun. <laughs> Excuse me, are you okay? Thank you. Take the lid off and then you crunch the ramen. He can't eat the ramen, so I have his little happy, happy cheese. Oh, this already has the veggies in it. So we're gonna put it in here. Get out. Mm. This is as hard as a rock. Oh my God. Okay. okay, I got it. Okay, now we gotta smash this. There are noodles flying everywhere. I have an idea. That would hurt my fingers doing that. Okay. <laughs> I wish you could help. Aren't you a therapy dog? Ugh. <laughs> oh, one sec. Wait for me. This is how we do business in Canada. Get the, like, the big pieces, you know? Put them in here. Cause it's very important that this is like thoroughly smashed up. Then you gotta do it the way you did it in middle school. Ah! That's all, this is a lot of noodles you get in a little noodle cup. I think he wants to go lay down. Okay. All right, I gotta put Snickle Fritz to bed. Stop biting the spoon. Now that our noodles are sufficiently crushed, we're gonna put a little oil on the hot plate. Mm hmm Very good. And we're gonna cook the noodles until they're brown. What? I didn't know you could cook noodles until they were brown. We're just gonna lightly roast this so they maintain their crunch. But the flavor, oh, the flavor. The flavor was undeniable. This better be better than fried rice. Cause this is a lot of work. Like this better be a step that like, maybe you're a college student, you want to have a really good meal for Thanksgiving, but you don't got a family or a friend. Why do you hurt me? And you're like, oh, you know what? I'm going to combine the two things that are very cheap, but very delicious comfort foods. Okay, it's starting to get brown. It's starting to get a little steamy. I'm gonna turn this down a bit. Look at that. Look at how brown we got it. And now I'm gonna season the dry noodle. Okay, so far, this has been really fast and really easy. I was worried that like browning the noodles was gonna take like 20 minutes and like 20 minutes of cook time is very annoying, but it only took a few minutes. Now that this is mixed, I'm gonna take a little sesame oil. She didn't say in the TikTok like what kind of oil she used, but it, it had like a darker pigment to it. So I'm assuming it is sesame oil. It also had the yellow lid. Typically I don't put sesame oil in my fried rice because it's not really my thing, but maybe this will convince me. Now I'm gonna put some sesame seeds. Some of this in here. Rice. Rice left over from yesterday. One of the finest foods ever. Never throw away your rice. We're gonna crack a raw egg on top. Always crack your eggs on a flat surface because you get a good crack. You get a good even crack. I love crack. Stop it. Get some help. Okay, now we're gonna mix it. This egg yolk, it really brings the cream. It brings the flavor. It brings the delicacy. Oh yeah. And now the little bit of leftover seasoning that was in here. Gotta get it in there. Give it a stir. Give the rice a nice redness, a nice season, a nice spicy. Pans on, it's loud as heck. Butter. Butter. Rice. Get it in there. Get it cooking. What's wrong with 
you. Fried rice like has these uh, clumps in it because it's like day old rice. That's kind of like got cold and like stuck together, but I like them. I like their, I feel like they're little flavor balls. I'm gonna keep going until the egg like kind of dries, it, like kind of cooks a little bit. This is looking pretty solid. I'm gonna add this. Oh, look at this. Now, getting the rice in here. Oh, geez. It's gonna be tough, but we're gonna do it. Here we go. Get in. Get in. We're gonna do this Chinese takeout style where we like just really press it in. This smells like really gourmet. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna put the boy! Oh. Round of applause. Please like this video because I saved one of the best ones for the beginning. The next one I'm terrified. So hopefully this is good. Cause I'm gonna need, <laughs> I'm gonna need some food in my stomach. If I went to a restaurant and they were like, mm, breakfast is served, I would be like, what do you mean? All right, here we go. Now, the person in the video like kind of crunched it all together, but I just want to get like a good, a good top to bottom bite. Oh. It's got the creaminess from the butter. It's got the crunch. Oh! We're on to the next one, okay? This is Sweeties. Sweetie, you know, let's go. Dun, 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 dun. We're on to her hack. I'm scared, okay? I'm putting, I'm, I'm talking right now because I'm delaying it. It's terrifying, but this is how she does it. We got flaming Hot Cheetos. We got cup noodles, all right? I'm already, like, this is already a combination that I am not sure about. Now, no, Sweetie takes her cup noodles, noodles, all right? She takes her cup noodles, she puts Tabasco and seasoning salt. This must be some kind of American seasoning salt because I've never seen anything like it in my life. Here we go. Oh, I, this is like the least oddly satisfying thing when you like try to open it and then there's like this, like, please, can you not? She's got this going in here. She's got Tabasco. I wonder who taught her this? Now the way she's dumping makes it feel like there's a lot. So that's a lot. Seasoning salt. As if the Cheetos aren't gonna be overpowering enough. Uh, mm, that smells great. She puts the uh, soup stock in as well. The top comment on this TikTok is like, the health experts are asleep today. And then she puts water in it until it heats up. So I'm just gonna go to my hot water heater. It's not an Asian household unless you have a hot water heater and a rice cooker. Well, okay, so after she lets the noodles cook, Gotta give it a little stir. Get all of those seasonings acquainted with each other. And just in case you're on a bit of a health kick and you're worried that this is too much sodium because it is like one of these combined with seasoning salt, she likes to negate that a little bit by straining the water out. We're gonna let that drain. And then here's the part that I find appalling. I mean, I just, okay. Now we're gonna put, take our noodles and then put them in a bag of Cheetos. Now I've removed a lot of the Cheetos just because her bag was already open and I assume you would only do this on a serving that you can finish. I'm gonna give it a shake. I'm gonna cut the bag so that I don't get my fingers dirty like sticking my hand in there. Whoa, look at that color. This is similar to the last one in that you do get a crunch. My Valentine's Day pink noodles. It's absolutely delicious. What? It is absolutely phenomenal. How? It is amazing. Brilliant, incredible, amazing. Straining the soup from the noodles took all of the salt out. It coated the noodles just enough because like you, you do it just so the noodles can cook in it. So the noodles absorbed as much flavor as they needed to. You dump the rest of the salt that you don't need out. And the Cheetos have like, obviously they're very spicy, but they also have a sweetness to it. Like this is a very well-rounded dish. And Saweetie was daring Gordon Ramsay to try it. I think he should. Do you think he would like it though? If he doesn't like this, he's lying. This is a million times better than the, uh, the fried rice. There's just something special about this. There's something proprietary about this. There's something about like this flavor. You can't get it anywhere else. Mmm. <coughs> Spicy though. 
All right, we go next. So the next one we're making is the Parasite noodles. If you've ever seen the Korean movie Parasite, this noodle dish is chapagetti, nyoguri, and steak. And the reason why this movie, if you haven't seen it, is a commentary on like wealth and like being rich versus being poor. And the reason why this dish is so ridiculous is because you're, they put a really nice cut of steak. I mean, steak is a nice food. They put steak into instant noodles. But when we all saw it, we forgot about the whole social commentary part and we went, that looks so good. I want to try that. I have always wanted to try that. I'm so glad this video is happening. I would never think to mix these two. I thought it would just be one of these, like a black bean sauce noodle. Everybody seems to be doing this though. We're going to give it a go and we're going to see if it's good, if it's a hack. We've got the chapagetti. I've only actually had this once in high school. I went to my Korean friend's house and she was like, chapagetti? And I was like, I don't know what that is, but yes. We get that in the, uh oh. Dear God, no! This one, I actually don't know anything about this. Spicy seafood flavor. Not typically what I would go for. Karthi Gouard always says, if it's black bean, eat it. You know it's gonna be good. Putting the, just the veggie packets in here. Now this is pretty much done. All right, now this is dangerous. Dangerous. Let's just do it in the sink. A few minutes later. All right, now we put the rest of the seasonings in. I'm a little bit concerned that this is like a powder base because I feel like the first time I ever had this, it was like liquid, but I could be wrong. That's pretty cute. The nyoguri really smells like uh, seafood and I'm not loving that for it. Vegetable oil, <laughs> yum. Gotta make it juicy somehow. Now we're just gonna give it a little stir till it gets a nice, beautiful, vibrant brown color. Listen to that disgusting noises. Some people live for this, this noise. Steaky wake. Let it get coated. Now I actually lied. The steak that I showed at the beginning isn't the steak I'm using here. This is like a, a tomahawk that I barbecued. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's go. It's beautiful. It's stunning. It's unforgettable. It is the parasite noodle. Oh. Oh, that one's ugly. How does it taste? <laughs> I need a fork. This looks pretty good. Should I be eating it with chopsticks? Yes, but I don't want to. When I eat instant noodles, I just, I use a fork because it's just easier to get more. Are you okay? Hmm? Cassie, are you? Are you okay? No. Oh no. That is. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I thought you were dying. This is special. This is incredible. On one hand, yes, it is ridiculous to put an expensive cut of meat into instant noodles that maybe cost 50 cents. But what an incredible combination. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. oh, my God. I don't taste the seafood. I taste the spice, though. I think that's what the neoguri brings is a bit of spice to it. It's like otherwise kind of sweet black bean. And I feel like this, like this black bean noodle, like this chapagetti, it's like a bit much for me by itself, but the green onion and the steak brings so much, like such a savory kick to it that it's perfectly balanced. Like this is so incredibly, sinfully, disgustingly good. Mm. Oh, that's rich. That's rich. Today we've been going good, questionable, good, questionable. That means that it's time for another questionable one. This is going to be the creamiest ramen I've ever seen. It looks creamy as heck. There's a raw egg in this. So we're gonna take the raw egg here. Into, oh. That would have been so cool if it worked. Then we're using the shin. The shin's very popular in these ramen recipes. Which is weird because like, it's good, but it's not one of my faves. Putting the seasoning on top of the egg. Maybe it's just because it's uh, ubiquitous. If you can't handle spice, you need to work on that. Because if you go your whole life without liking spice, you're gonna miss out on some of the greatest foods there ever were. Okay, and now this is the part that's weird for me. You take a- uh, 
This looks like Japanese mayo. This is the closest one I could find. It's like a sesame mayo. It, Japanese mayo is like a little bit thicker and it's a little bit sweeter. And then you put a lot of mayonnaise in this raw egg sauce. Gross. Green onion. And we're gonna give it a stir. Ew, uh, it looks horrible. Oh my god, I actually might throw up. That's gross. Once this is incorporated, you take the starchy water that you cooked your noodles in, pour it in. Oh my goodness, I can't imagine something more disgusting than this. Oh, that's just awful. I'm gonna put more mayo. I feel like it's not light enough. I'm not getting that creaminess. It's good enough for me. I'm gonna put the noodles in. Can you tell I'm really not excited for this? Okay, now it's starting to look like those creamy noodles that I saw on TikTok that look so delicious, so seductive. And yet making this, I have a heart attack even looking at this. It's just so much mayo. I have like a problem with mayo where when I know there's a ton of mayo in something, I don't like it, but I like mayo. Mayonnaise! Wow! Just not a ton. All right, now let's hope I don't get salmonella and die. Let's give this a try. Does that look creamy enough for you? Looks pretty creamy. Rub a dub dub. Thanks for the grub. Let's eat. It's good. It's just really um heavy. It's really really heavy. If you like like cheese ramen and like creamy ramens, like this is actually really good. I think that if someone else made this for me and I wasn't present for the mixing of the sauce, then I'd be a really big fan of this. It reminds me of the hot chicken carbo, like one of my favorite creamy ramens ever. It even looks the same and it has the same spice and it has the same creaminess. It's just not for me. Uh, I'm hurt, I'm offended. I still have some leftover flaming hot Cheeto ramen, so I'm gonna go eat that. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you push notifications and I will see you on the next one. Bye.